Max Air Papper 710 is the is the papper with the disposable face shield. The papper should be clean and disposable. Uh, face shield and cup available in the ante room cabinet. There's the disposable face shield and cup. A visual inspection of the waist belt, battery, and helmet for gross damage or wear. Then don the belt. Attach the white cord from the paper to the battery. There should be three green lights in three to five seconds, and the airflow should flow. If the yellow and red lights stay on, you need another papper. As the rechargeable battery wears down, the green lights go off and red lights replace the green lights. The face shield is disposable on the Max Air 710. A new face shield with attached cuff must be attached to the 710 helmet at donning. Unless you are reusing the papper to care for the same patient. To attach the face shield, the pull tab should be on the outside of the face shield. Attach the face shield to the papper by snapping it on the center front and sides of the helmet. Pull the tab away from the face shield. Now pull the, there you go. Pull the little triangular cuff flappers inward away from the lens so they rest against the foam pads and the ends of the comfort bands. On the back of the helmet, turn the helmet adjuster to the left to loosen, with one hand holding the front of the face shield and with the other hand holding the helmet adjuster, pull the helmet over your head. Reach up inside the face shield and pull the cuff down around your chin. Turn the adjuster right to tighten. Check to be sure the helmet is on properly and snug before bending over. Put on gloves and any other required PP&E. Upon re-entry to the ante room, remove gloves, throw away in the trash. Wash hands using proper hand hygiene. Reglove. Loosen the Max Air adjuster knob, turning it to the left to loosen. Remove the Max Air. Clean the inside of the papper. From inside the papper, remove the comfort pads, if soiled, located above the eyebrows and the back of the neck area, and discard. Clean the inside and then the outside, and then the belt. Allow to air dry. Replace the comfort pads located in the anteroom cabinet when dry. In between patients, the papper should be stored clean, assembled, and ready for next use 